Hey, welcome everybody to the Phone Freak, uh, my 11th video. Happy 2010, everybody. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to tether your Metro, your brand new, hopefully everybody got this in their Christmas stocking, Metro PCS Samsung code phone. Um, now what is tethering? Let's take a little, uh, let's take a step back and talk about tethering for a second. Tethering 101. Now with Metro PCS, you have unlimited data, right? Now wouldn't it be great if you could connect your PC or Mac to your phone uh, where you have unlimited data? That way you could get unlimited internet so today we're going to talk about that we're going to show it um, who's we me is me i want to show it to you um so before i do that let me go into task manager and, and let me show you my timers because you do this technique and your timers are going to be all out of whack yeah look at these numbers in the month and a half that i've had like this phone um i've put about 300 minutes of inbound and about 4,200 minutes or 73 hours outbound yeah that's right i'm on the phone all the time that's why i'm the phone freak but my data calls are 912 hours that's crazy, giving me a lifetime calls of 900, almost 1,000 hours. It's crazy. Um, so be wary of that. Now, you're going to need to put in three files into your uh, Samsung code. Go to my blog. Um, I'll tell you which three files. They're listed there. Um, uh, you need. To, I mean, I, I've given you this cheat sheet to remember uh, that it's the Blackjack Windows Mobile 6 Internet Connection Services enable cabinet file but um go to my blog trust me um it's gonna be tough uh to show a video on that now what you'll need in terms of the hardware um is finally you can pull out what came with your phone which is that um companion cd uh the usb cord and uh, a usb stick if you're gonna put this on a netbook that you can't have a cd reader on right that's what i did um also i have um, a bluetooth usb adapter because my netbook it doesn't have you uh bluetooth and i want to connect uh, I want to tether through Bluetooth, so um, I'll show you that. So this little nub here fits right into your netbook. I'm, I have here an Asus EEE uh, -E -E netbook, uh, which doesn't come with Bluetooth, at least not when I bought it. Um, I hate how that sticks out. Put put a comment here if you, if you know of a better USB um, nub there. Um, but once you hook that in, what it gives you is, um, I know, my, my I got my book all looking like a Mac. Um, it's foreshadowing for later, but it gives you Bluetooth if you stick this in. So there's the little Bluetooth symbol next to uh, the clock there. And um, now I'm going to go into my phone, and uh, with those three um, pieces of software that I told you about, you're going to get this internet sharing program now. Click on that, and uh, this is the magic sauce behind this internet sharing. So um, you hit uh, connect on there, and um, now you got to go to your computer and... Uh, now you can see I have nothing up my sleeve. I, I don't have my uh, local area network connected, right? That's disabled. Um, I don't have wireless, right? That's disabled. And my Bluetooth is disconnected. So I'm not on any network. So under my PAN or personal area network, um, I'm going to connect it. So um, is it view? No, I don't think view does anything. Let me just double click it. Let me double click it to see my personal area networks under Bluetooth. And let me hit connect to the phone. I've already tethered. Um, and now it's connecting. And there you go. Thank you. Thank you. You got your Bluetooth network connection. And it's connected. So basically the netbook is connected to the phone. And the phone is connected to the network. Therefore, my netbook it's connected to the internet. So let me go to NewYorkTimes.com and test this theory. So here it is. It's connected. Now, this isn't editing. This is the real speed. I mean, this thing is not fast, right? It's as fast as your phone network. And Metro PCS, for me, is slow. Um, here are the actual speed tests I've done for you. Um, put a comment to tell me what your speeds are. But my download speeds are 114 kilobits, upload 48 kilobit. Now compared to a cable, which I did previously, I had 1,567 download. I, I mean, you're talking, you're not going to be able to watch YouTube. That said, let me click on a video that YouTube has recommended for me, because uh, they know my tastes, and um, give you a demo of um, the performance through Bluetooth tethering through your Samsung code through the Metro PCS network. Now, um, this is how fast this is. This is uh, 
This is not stuck. This is actually downloading this Apple MacBook Pro 13 and 15 inch oldie but a goodie 2009 edition video. Um, wow, 75,000 views. That's a lot. 217 ratings. Wow. So you can see this is working. It's just way slow. You know, it's butt slow. So you're not, this is not made. You know, this tethering is not made to watch videos. At least for me, it's not in my area. I'm in New York City. You can see this thing just. There's Bluetooth, it's blue light, like, connecting to that phone over here, and uh, the phone is connected, and you can see the arrows going back and forth, so it's, but whoa, it's pulling the data, um, and here it is, slash, uh, now th this is how my phone works, too, like, I get about 50 frames, and then it starts, like, buffering some more, so, uh, either I can hit pause and buffer and bring this down, but, no, it was made for this, reading the newspaper, um, now let me show it to you on my, um, on my Mac, now I know what you're saying. You see it says Dell here, so trust me, this is a Mac OS X Snow Leopard. What this is, is this is a Hackintosh uh, running Snow Leopard 10.6 on a Dell Mini 10V, which you can get for uh, less than 300 bucks. So you can see it says Inspiron 1011. That's what the Mac uh, recognizes as Atom processor. Um, and it's got built-in Bluetooth. That's how I told Dell to make it. You know, I told them to ship it with Bluetooth. So you can see no tricks up my sleeve. Airport is off, and I'm not connected to any network. Let me lift it up for you. You can see there, no cables whatsoever. Got Bluetooth inside, so I don't need that USB adapter. Um, I got smart when I made this one. And um, let me click on Bluetooth. And um, I've already paired it before, so I don't need to pair it, but you can see the phone there. Um, and I, I, what I, what I need to do is it's not bolded, so only the my my Bluetooth mouse is bolded, meaning it's connected. So I need to connect first um, by hitting this connect to network. But before I do that, let me turn internet connection sharing ICS um, on my phone, so it's disconnected. Let me hit connect. I'm going to confirm yes. Device setup finished, and now I'm going to connect to network from my. I was gonna say MacBook from my Mini 10V, my Hackintosh. Um, don't tell Apple. And it's connected, waiting for network. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Oh, there you go, connected. So the phone connected to the network. The netbook connected to the phone. Right, just on, just like on Windows. Now it's bolded, so that means I'm connected to it. Right, I could disconnect now if I wanted to. Let me bring up Sapphire. Ah, uh, Sapphire. Safari. <laughs> Sorry. And um, it's loading the page, my my Mac start page. Again, it's going to be a little bit slow, just like dial-up. So this is you know, kind of like the latest version of AOL from 1998. Speed, um, it's connected. It's not going to win any awards for speed, but, you know, in a pinch, if you don't have Wi-Fi... Um, you got your Metro PCS phone, you got the internet. So that's what this technique is really for, you know. Um, I do blog postings through this at a cafe. At, you know, it's not Starbucks. Um, uh oh, wait a minute. I'm getting a call. This this was not, uh, I didn't plan for this. Hold on. I, oh, actually, this is very interesting because it's just like those commercials. I'm getting a call, but I'm still downloading. Uh, if I were to answer this call... I would be disconnecting from, from the network because I can't do both at the same time. But I, I ignored it, and I'm still connected. And as you can see, I'm still downloading. So this was actually this was a great test. I've um, got to thank my friend later. Um, so it's still downloading. Didn't miss a beat. Great feature. And then I'll call my friend back. Or I could have picked up the phone and disconnected myself from the network. Um, so I'll go to NewYorkTimes.com now. Show you that. Actual speed here. You can see it's still connected. And, and by the way, let me tell you, connection is great on this. It, it doesn't drop. Um, oh, that's a problem with being the phone freak. You keep getting all these phone calls, even while you're doing a video. Sorry about that. Uh, but here it is. And you know what? I, I don't know about you, but I think it's a little bit faster on the Mac. I don't know. Maybe this is a bit better than, my, than the EEE. -E -E. But um, anyways, a lot more information on my blog on how to do this. It's just a taste of tethering. Uh, so remember to visit thephonefreak.com for more details on this. And uh, become a fan of Twitter on my Twitter page. So uh, um, thank you very much. Peace out.